Good morning. It's uh, Friday morning here in Cypress, Texas. So I got this morning, read my scriptures, and oh. So this, um, this, uh, little problem we got here with uh, with um, oh goodness what's her name Dinah and uh, getting abducted and by um uh, Shimon, um, he's a Hivite, he's not a, he's not, um, a, uh, Philistine, got him confused because they're talking about the Philistine king, um, Abmiliak, in uh, in um, in Psalms, not something. So I'm thinking that uh, that at Miliac is what the Philistines call their king no matter where he's, he's, he's like three times he's mentioned he just lived forever I guess <laughs> but I, I think it's a different guy different name or same name different guy there you go that's a title at Meliak the a ruler in Philistine in the, for the Philistines and then uh, so this uh, it wasn't uh, Jacob who made the deal about circumcision with the Philist with the uh, the Hivites. It was his sons. And uh, it was Levi. And uh, I forget the other one. It went in and uh, took out all the Hivites, males. Um, why they were heal, healing up from their circumcision. Interesting. And then, um, in Matthew, uh, Jesus doesn't say a lot in Matthew chapter 3 except we'll do it this one time and he didn't say fulfill prophecy but it's fulfill the righteousness isn't that something Right, it's uh, what the you catch this a lot in uh, the New Testament. They're doing um, it's it's all about fulfilling. 
what was in the Old Testament. That's, it's all about that. And, uh, I mean, everything's very, they're very careful about how they do it. How they, um, you know, throughout. In chapter 2, it was, um, that uh, being born in Bethlehem chapter in this chapter oh well, was it more than that it was oh, being born in Bethlehem um, even the point of children the the uh, firstborn children uh, by um, the king what's his name um, yeah don't gun it it'll come to me um, and then Growing up in Nazareth, I mean, he was a Nazarene. Um, Herod, King Herod, and uh, it, you know, it's all very, um, you know, right to the letter of the prophecy, but they don't call it a prophecy; they call it righteousness. Isn't that something? Yeah, the couple things that stood out to me was uh, Miliac getting mentioned in Psalms because David's living with the Philistines. He's acting crazy, so they they won't kill him. That's what's interesting. And then, uh, so the Miliac can't be the same Miliac that was in in Genesis, right? So he's um. And then that uh, these are the Hivites that are this guy um, Shimon or whatever the prince and uh, they all got the it wasn't it wasn't um Jacob. See, Jacob was worried that because his sons had done this that he was going to tarnish his reputation. And uh, and the, his sons are worried about the reputation of Dinah. There's something interesting going on here right the priority um, you don't hear um, I guess Diana didn't exactly fall in love with um, Shimon um, fell in love with her. they're all like they're all excited about this is going to be making this connection, making bonding with the Jewish people, with the, with the Israelites, right? <laughs> and marrying in, and they're all excited about this. 
and ooh, not so fast. Yeah. So, very interesting. All right, have a great Friday.